What's up, YouTube? This is WatchK2400, aka CoolCurse1000. And this is the awkward moment where I don't even know what the hell I'm playing. Um, yes, I'm playing a free game that I've gotten, I think, maybe a couple of months ago. I don't know the co what this game is called, but I'm just going to call it the Seizure Procedure 2.0. Now, yes, I have played some other games that have seizures procedure features in them I think I should give you guys a warning in advance that this game well if you have an issue with fucking strobe lighting or a lot of bullshit like different colors all at once changing then I would recommend you to not watch this video because that's pretty much what you're going to see you're going to see colors changing left and right and so on and so forth but forget about that let's get back to the story that I was telling last video so yesterday I was telling the story how um, my experience at Smash Fest er, which called early last month now I was telling you guys how I walked Mm, 13 hours from my house all the way to the Best Buy in my area because there was only one Best Buy and it was a 40 minute drive but I'm going to get back to the part where I was originally at in the story I was at the part where this lady this lady in a red van pulled up alright and what you call it I had my suspicions um, so, of course, may I get up, see what the lady wants. Um, she asked me, she asked me what I was doing, where I was going, what was wrong. I told her nothing was wrong, but, yeah, I told her nothing was wrong, but I was going to the Best Buy in the specific area that I said I was going to. So then she tells me that she can't offer me a ride. I was like, um, that's fine. I didn't ask for a ride anyway. So then I moved closer to her, to her car. She tells me to back away. I'm like, I back away without it, any issue because I tell her that I didn't want any trouble. I was like, alright, fine, I'll back away. I didn't want any trouble anyway. Uh, white people, I swear. Always so afraid of me. <laughs> it's funny and interesting. Well, I was wearing a hoodie. And the hood was covering my face. So I guess you have your reason to be a little bit suspicious of me. Alright. So then after that... After I backed away from her car, the lady actually gave... The lady actually gave me $10. She said, here's a couple of bucks. Was, in my head, I was like... Yes! Got myself some money. <laughs> I'm evil, aren't I? Nah, I'm not evil, but that shit was hilarious. So I got the money. She asked me if I could do a prayer. I was like, in my head, I didn't want to do it, but I was like, fuck it. The, the bitch gave me money. I might as well fucking do it. I might as well make the money worth the wild. So I did it. She drove off and I kept moving on now this was now my next part was eight to nine hours in I I see a fucking Home Depot and I realized that I have, that I had money in my pocket I was like yes I finally got some money in my pocket now I can finally go eat I my I had my credit card on me but here's the thing I was not trying to spend the money that was on my credit card. Cause I, 
Because if I spend my money at my credit card in a random ass town, then my mom's gonna know something was up. And that's not the and that's not the type of message I'm trying to send. So anyway, what you call? So I see the Home Depot. I'm like, hmm. Then I move up further. <laughs> I see a Taco Bell and a Pizza Hut. I'm like, hmm. I was like, this these places seem more likely for me to get food. So as I'm about to go towards there, I see a Burger King all the way to my right. Right in front of the Home Depot, I was like, looks like we want a Burger King, Burger King's closer. So I go inside Burger King, I order myself a cheeseburger with only ketchup. I eat it, take my food break, throw out the receipt, and call it a day right there. Then I go and, then I see a Dutch's, well not really Dutch's, but fucking Dairy, I see a Dairy Queen. I go inside Dairy Queen. I asked if I asked for the location on the nearest bus station, and nobody seemed to know where the bus station was at, or which call if there was one nearby. So I'm like, never. Mind. I was like, fuck it. I left. I walked out the. I walked out the Dairy Queen, very upset, very disappointed. And I continued on my journey. Now. Let's go to ride number two. Yes, ride number two. What I had to do my deal with another cop. And this was mm, nine to ten hours in. So I'm in some other random ass town. And note that my legs are destroyed. I'm tired as hell. And my body's breaking apart one by one by one. So then after, I think maybe... Um, I think after a while, I get, I get tired and I need another break. And... It just so happens that I stopped in front of my middle school. Now, of course, which call I wasn't—I obviously wasn't going to do anything because I was so tired. But people have the wrong idea at times. I mean, which call a black guy wearing a red hoodie and all, hood covering his face, which call right in front of middle school. That that had it all to seem suspicious, right? <laughs> Wrong. Oh goodness. You can be any more wrong. Alright. But let's get back let's get back to the story at hand. So what's going on? So after the whole So after I take my break, I sit down on the sidewalk, hands over my face sitting down and I think I I passed out for like maybe five minutes I wasn't lying down or anything it was just me sitting down the sidewalk hands over my face and all so after I so after I passed out and whatnot I will I wake up I move forward and then all of then after I cross the street, not even if, like a few minutes later, the cops pull up in front of me, um, and it's two cop cars this time, not a, not the cop van like the first time. I'm like, ah, shit. I was like, what the fuck did I do? I was like, fuck. I was like, today's not my day. So I go. So I asked the officers what was they that wanted. Um, they asked me what I was doing, the same thing at the first cop. I told them. Um, then he offered me to ride to the next town. Well, I had, well, obviously I had to fulfill the requirements first. First of all, nigga, check my ID, obviously. 
uh, asked where I lived, obviously answered, phone number, all the other good shit. Then after that, um, I got the ride to the next town. Ooh, and this, and this cop had to have an iPhone 5 charger too, because my phone was at like um, 20 something percent. He let me charge my phone in his car. I was like, I was in my head, I was like, you know what? Maybe these cops aren't bad after all. Of course, I'm lying to myself. Because I really don't like the police. I will never like the police. Me and the police will never exactly get along. Alright. Anyway, after that... I'm taken to the next town. Um, he offered me some McDonald's, but I already told him I ate earlier. Of course, he wasn't going to pay for it. He just told me that there was a McDonald's right there. I was like, yeah, I'm good. And then I continue on my long ass journey. Ooh. But looks like this video is drawn to an end. Part 3 is the conclusion. Part 3 is where I end the Smash Fest story. And call it a day. And then you guys will truly know everything that happened during the contents of the Smash Fest. Thank you guys for, for tuning in today. This is YTK2400 aka Cool Chris 1000 Signing out. Peace and hope you enjoyed my seizure procedure.